Hello folks, welcome to BISPtrainings.com. My name is Amit and today I'm going to show you how to create BI Publisher Report with Parameter. This is second session. In first session we already discussed how to create BI Publisher Report where parameters are being passed from dashboard prompt. In today's session I'm going to show you an another approach of passing parameter in BI, uh, BI Publisher Report. In today's session I'm going to show you how do you take your RDBM as a data source? The logical flow is given below. You pass, you use RDBM as your data source. I'm using Oracle in my case. And you build your database data model on top of your RDBM as data source. And there you specify parameter. And depends upon the user input, the parameter value gets populated and filtered the data. And finally, we create BI Publisher Report. Let's get started and see. We'll, I'll be using my VMware to prepare the report. The first step I'll create data model, BI publish data model. Um, I define sample. This is my sample BI publisher report with parameter. I use a data set. I'll be using Oracle as my data sets, set. So I use SQL query as my source and uh, BI data model with parameter. Now I'll be using query builder, click on query builder and in the schema specify, I'll be using BI schema though you can use any schema. The BI schema related information like select your query, insert query and create table you can find under uh, your student folder when you log into bisptrainings.com, you can find over there. I'll be selecting product and one of my fact table called sales. I'll be joining on sales. So product and sales, the cardinality is one too many. One product has got multiple sales. Well, in this case, I'll be using product category, subcategory and amount sold. In order to make my query smaller, I'll product category, subcategory and amount sales. I can apply condition over here on the condition part and the query get rendered. I could see the query. I could see the result as well. Click on save and click on the result. First I'll create a sample query and then I pass parameter with my this query. So my model is ready. I click on save and give the name over here. Call BI publisher data model. with parameter. Next, once my model is ready, I'll see the sample data, save XML, save as and render the XML. I saved my source, now I'm going to save my data model under my BIP reports, I create BIP data model. I prefix with parameter. I render the XML file, some sample data. So right now I have no filter. When I run it, I could see some sample data. I'll save the sample data as save as sample data. So you once you save the sample data, you see over here. This sample data is needed in order to map or bind your uh, placeholders in maybe when you create RTA file or template. So my data model is ready. Now I am going to pass a parameter over here. I want the parameter value to be passed as a drop down. So I create a list of values. The selected selection or filter is done based on product category. So I use point of view product category. My product category is going to be SQL query. I use a query builder to create a query. BI sample, BI publisher, schema is BI and use product category as my filter criteria. I want to pull the distinct value. So I add a distinct, save it and the value which I pass it from here should be applied as a parameter to my 
query. So I go to parameter and create a new parameter called para underscore prod category. And the value could be text box or I could choose a given value from drop down. So I already create a menu from my point of view. Product category, I choose the option menu. The moment I choose the option menu, my list of value automatically gets populated over here. I would choose another option, refresh or other parameter on change. In case I have got casting, cascading of parameter like product category, subcategory, I want them to be selected one after other. I save them. Once again, I render the XML. So right now my parameters are visible over here, but my values are not going to filter because I have not associated with my query with my parameter. So next I am going to associate my parameter with my query. I go to my data model and edit my edit data set. Click on edit data set and append a where clause. And, and my product category value same as my parameter value. Product category same as. So parameter is defined with colon para. Name of my parameter is para underscore prod category. Prod cat. So whatever value I pass from my parameter, it will pass to my select query as a where clause. Done. Once again, I click on XML and render the sample data. I'll test my output before I go further. I select product category hardware and run it. Right now data is rendering for hardware. And I choose another value called photos and click on run. Data is rendering for photo. So my query is being filtered dynamically depends upon the value I pass to my drop down called menu. Data model is ready. Now I prepare a template and report on top of that. So I return, save it. The next step I create report template. Under BI publisher reporting, click on report. Uh, I'll be selecting my data model, BIP data model with parameter and I'll be using a uh, template. I'll use a blank template. I don't want to create a very nice, uh, just, just a basic formatting we prepare. So I add a text box over here stating that product listing report from BISP. I give my alignment is middle alignment, make it bold and change the color as well. You can do plenty of formatting related options. And I'm going to add a insert a data table. I want my data to be filtered tabular manner, tabular. I use product category, subcategory and amount sold. Because I have not applied calculation, it should be grouped by on product category, subcategory and sum of amount sold. Data which we are getting over here it's not meaningful. I prepare a template first. PIP report template. And I go back and modify my data model because the data which I'm getting is not perfect. It should be aggregated on amount sold and group by on product category and subcategory. I go to return my data model and modify my query. Click on edit data set. Sum of your sum of sales apply some function, aggregate function and apply group by group by on product category and subcategory. Now I get a cumulative value for total value of product category and subcategory. Save it and once again render the sample data and see. Depends upon my selection, I'll get the output. So my report template is done. I create a report once again. Go to my report section. Create a report. Data model and I use, once again I use a new template. I add a text item over here, add a label, header, product, listing report from BSP. 
I can give a alignment as central alignment, change the font size to 14, make it blue and many other things you can do with this. Next I'm going to add a tab tabular view, add table, data table and drag and drop product category, subcategory and amount sold. Now this is an aggregate value, this makes sense because this is, a, this is not a number, these are, this is a currency, I select this and change my data type as currency. Sort them, sort it and now I'm going to save this. This is my template. Once again I save it, BI Publisher, Report Template. Next, final step I'll be creating a report on top of that. So I save it and when I return it, there's an option to run report, view report. When I click on view report, it asks me to save the report, save. BIP report with parameter. So first step you create data model, then you create report template, then you create actual report. Save and view report. The report will render according to the parameter you pass to the report. Right now I have chosen peripherals and accessories, report render for peripheral and accessories. When I change photos, report would render to photos. Right. So quick recapitulate, in this the whole process Ultimately what I did, uh, I, I modify my data model, I prepare my data model in a way that it filters the data according to the parameter I pass to this. Select my data model, data model with parameter, click on add it and the where clause I could see, click on edit data set and I see whatever value I select it will pass to my query and parameter value defined as colon name of parameter. The parameter values are being selected from list of values. You could have a user input as well or you could use a distinct value from your drop down. This is considered to be as menu. So when I select my product parameter, there's an option called string, there's an option called text input, string, date and search. I use menu and so far I got only one list of value so my system gets populated with this. This is how you can create a dynamic be able to report. That's it from my side and thanks for watching our video. Should you have any more question, please, please feel free to write to us or you can visit to our site www.bisptrainings.com. Do watch our next video about BI Publisher reporting using presentation variable. Thank you and have a great day ahead.